Clutter Coach, my team and I help families and businesses cut the clutter, get organized, and lead a more productive and stress-free life. Come along on our journey as we help our clients and find the motivation you need to make positive changes in your life. This is Organization Motivation. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our beautiful Stanley Theater here in downtown Utica. I'm Jerry Krause, the executive director of the Stanley. We have some special guests here for a very special announcement that we're very excited to be a part of this morning. And along with members of the uh, Declutter Coach team, we have the mayor of Utica, Mr. Robert Palmieri. To my right is a good friend of ours who has been uh, an asset to our great city, but more, more importantly, overall. And the Declutter, declutter Coach, uh, Deb Cabrell, is with the National Association of the Professional Organizers. Uh, Deb, during this whole week, her team will be donating her services to make significant changes in our lives, businesses' lives. Um, as I go back is that uh, Deb, uh, with declutter, has come to the city of Utica. So it gives you a little perspective, not only what happens in your home, um, in your businesses, but again, she's been uh, very knowledgeable to helping us in the some of the things that are most insignificant to what I think we look at, but she was able to break some things apart that would make us more efficient and effective, and, and that's what it's all about. So in saying all these great things, I'd like to uh, acknowledge that today, now therefore be resolved by I, Robert M. Palmieri of the great city of Utica, New York, in recognition of Deb Cabral and the efforts of NAPO, do proclaim the week of 2030, 2030 and 2070, 27 of January 2017 as Declutter and Donate Week in the great city of Utica, New York. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we're really excited to be here today. Um, as the mayor said, I'm a member, an active member of NAPO, the National Association of Professional Organizers, and our goal every January is to really help families and businesses get organized. As the mayor mentioned, you know, stress um, is a big cause of a lot of the problems that we have in our life, and some of that stress comes in the forms of clutter. And so whether we can help you declutter or we can help you be more efficient, that's what our goal is. So my team and I are here all this week uh, filming episodes of our television show and really putting a spotlight on Utica. Thank you very much, Mayor, and um, we look forward to continuing to work with you in the city for many years to come. It certainly is my honor and my privilege. As I said, you have done an awful lot for, for the city of Utica. So, Thank you. Okay. Well, we're happy to introduce Jerry Krause, who is the executive director of this beautiful Stanley Theater, to our show. Jerry, good to see you. Thanks, and it's great to have you guys here at the Stanley Theater. We get a chance to show you a little bit of the behind-the-scenes activity here at the Stanley. A lot of people come in when we have our Broadway shows and our concerts and all the events here, but we're going to get a chance to go up on stage and take a look at the big theater from the stage. We'll walk around. We'll talk a little bit about the theater. One of the big facts we like to go back to our early history it was built in 1928, so so we've got a 90th anniversary coming up next year, and then before you know it, 100 years here in wow. downtown Utica. So when you take a look around, this is the part of the renovations that happened in 2008. The stage became wider, taller, deeper. We do the rehearsals here for Broadway shows, the tech shows. Yes. We have the uh, performers like Tony Bennett when he was here. He walked out for his sound check and looked out at this beautiful theater and said, my gosh, look at these theaters that are still left in America. Mm -hmm. They're gems. We have to make sure that we save these theaters because mm -hmm. so many of these are now torn down over the years. Yes, we're so fortunate so to have it. we are fortunate to have this here. Uh, the architect, Thomas Lamb, also built the Landmark Theater in Syracuse mm -hmm. and Proctor's out in Schenectady. So he does have some architectural history here in upstate New York. Mm -hmm. We are very proud of this theater. And when you look out here to the seating area, we have 1,800 seats on the floor and 1,200 seats up above. And if you scan up to that beautiful chandelier that was part of the renovation, made locally at Mida Lighting Mida in Lighting. New Yorkville. Yes. And it's really the uh, crowning jewel of this beautiful theater. Uh, so many people comment about it. It's the largest of its kind in the whole wide world. Wow. And we're very proud of it. Coming up, we discuss our game plan for tackling the Stanley Theater's cluttered basement and meet Linda, their events coordinator. Come on back. Follow us on Instagram at The Declutter Coach.